In January 2005, a small European space probe left its mothership and landed on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. It was an immense technical achievement, the first ever landing in the outer solar system, a magical moment for everyone. When I first saw the images from Huygens and the river-like structures on the surface, I thought, ah, it's magic, wonderful. Thank you, God. At first, I thought we were seeing views of Mars, and I said, move that picture. And then I was told that it was Titan. The emotion around us was very, very strong. We were so excited that it took us many weeks to recover. But it's an experience I wish that many young people and astronomers will live themselves one day. Six years on, the joint ESA-NASA mission has opened a whole new window on the Saturn system, offering remarkable discoveries about its rings, about Titan, and the planet's 60 or so moons. Data during the Huygens descent, pictures taken on the surface, and images obtained by the Cassini orbiter have shown that Titan in many ways resembles the Earth with one huge difference. The liquid on Titan's surface is methane, which plays the same role as water on Earth. There are methane rivers and lakes. We have counted more than a thousand lakes so far. And sometimes it rains, methane rain, and sometimes ethane as well. Titan has, in fact, all the kitchen ingredients of a prebiotic version of our own Earth at an early stage of its development. It's the cooking, the movement around of the atmosphere and the churning around that mixes things up, brings chemicals together, allows them to interact. And that ultimately is what constructs life and things like us. On another much smaller moon, Enceladus, the mission has seen plumes of water vapor containing different elements spurting from cracks in its surface. The implication is that there's a heat source in the inside of Enceladus. And that's really very surprising because it's very small. And you would have thought that it had cooled down from when it first formed. And so there's something going on in the interior of Enceladus, a heat source that we just don't understand at the moment. With liquid water being found so much further away in the solar system than previously thought, scientists are having to review their models. If water can be everywhere, then we'll have to restart our search for life and habitable zones throughout the solar system. The data Cassini Huygens have collected is already considerable, and one can imagine that many other discoveries lie ahead. And so the orbiter's mission has now been extended until 2017. If we started with a small book, a little novella that was about Saturn, in the end, we will have a hundred books, maybe, all of the different aspects of the Saturn system. Um, but equally well, there will be books written about the Earth and books written about Mars, where the information will also be used. There is a lot more to come.